Opposition MPs have started assembling outside Mahatma Gandhi's, near Mahatma Gandhi's statue, outside the parliament, in the parliament premises. Several opposition MPs can be seen in these pictures. Five o'clock is when a united opposition walks from the parliament. Mani Shankar Ayer, you see in these pictures, all these MPs will now march from parliament to Rashtrapati Bhavan, submit, submit a memorandum to President Pranam Mukherjee. There was an issue just a short while back. CPM Sitaram Yechuri went into the, the into the Rajya Sabha. He handed over a copy of a letter from Delhi Police saying that there are prohibitory orders in place and that a walk to Rashtrapati Bhavan is not allowed. Mukhtar Abbas Nakwi, MOS Parliamentary Affairs, said the norm is that members of Parliament assemble at Gate Number One of Rashtrapati Bhavan and then they walk. Uh, at Rashtrapati Bhavan to meet the president, but a united opposition objected to this. And Sitaram Yechuri shot back, saying, How can the government interfere? Whether MPs go by horse carriage or by other means, he called it a matter of serious breach of privilege. Security has been strengthened all along, along this route from Vijay Chowk up Raisina Hill to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Journalists were initially pushed back, but now headlines today reporters on Ground Zero are telling us they have been permitted to cover a peaceful march. And as opposition MPs assemble near Mahatma Gandhi's statue in the parliament premises, security has been strengthened. Delhi Police Commissioner said there is no restriction on a peaceful march from the parliament to Rashtrapati Bhavan for the honorable lawmakers. The law enforcers will step back and facilitate this march. No demonstration will, however, be permitted. The Delhi Police Commissioner B.S. Bassi, just a short while back, he was summoned to the Ministry of Home Affairs. He met top officials in the Home Ministry and then clarified that there were no prohibitory orders in place for a march of lawmakers from parliament to the Rashtrapati Bhavan, no demonstration will, however, be permitted. And there is a united opposition. They are saying this land acquisition bill is anti-farmer. The Congress party held a demonstration near Jantar Mantar at Parliament Street yesterday. In fact, the Congress party wanted to march from Rajghat to, to Parliament to Ghirao the Parliament yesterday. They were not permitted. The Congress party insists that this is an anti-farmer legislation. The BJP, on the other hand, says there is nothing anti-farmer in this from what sources in the government are telling us that Prime Minister Narendra Modi may just be having a man ki baat, a radio talk show. Uh, it is being contemplated at this time uh, with farmers and explain the government's stand on the land acquisition bill, why it is so essential to kickstart the economy. Now, the Congress party's objections are on several aspects of the land acquisition bill and especially when it talks about multi-crop land that can also be acquired by the government and given uh, to other parties what is also uh, can be given to industrialists and corporate houses what is also being objected to is the fact that if in five years there is no development on that land the farmers have a right to that land but not in the new land acquisition bill according to the congress party